In this video, I'm going to show you how to add texture to your photos in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Justin, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a distressed, grungy texture to your photo in Photoshop. So what I have open here is just a stock photo that I got from Death to Stock. It's a great resource. And then I also have open a grunge stock texture that I got from DeviantArt.com. It's also a great website to get these type of resources. So have your photo open and then have your grunge texture photo open. And what you want to do is place the texture on top of your photo. So as you can see, it's not exactly the right dimensions. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Edit, Transform, and I'll rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So now it fits a little bit more. And if I wanted to scale it down or up, I could go to Edit, Transform, Scale, and hold Shift and scale it to the right size. But this actually happens to be just about the right size for my photo anyway. Now the way to get this texture to blend in with your original photo is by using blending modes. Uh, now there's not one set blending mode you can do, but if you know a little bit about how blending modes work, you can play around with them. For example, multiply will only take the dark parts of this texture and have them show through on the photo, as you can see. Or something like overlay will kind of combine the colors with some more exposure. So you can also adjust the opacity in combination with the blending mode because sometimes it's a little bit strong at 100% as you can see. So if you blend it, if you turn the opacity down a little bit, it helps blend things even more. But for this tutorial, I'm going to take things in a little bit of a different route. Um, so if we head back to normal, we can see that our shadows are in the corners and our light part is in the middle. But if I go to Command I, that will invert our image. You could also go to um, Image Adjustments Invert, but the shortcut is Command I. So now we have our light parts in the corner and our darks in the middle. So if I do something like set this to screen, only the light parts will show and the darks won't show through. So what I'm going to do is set it to screen and turn the opacity down to about 80%. And then just to give it a final blend of some contrast and desaturation, what I like to do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White. And you could leave it black and white if you want, but what I like to do is set the black and white layer on Overlay or Soft Light, and then turn the opacity of that down to like 60% as well. So hopefully you see all the different possibilities that you could combine blending modes and opacities with your photo to get a textured image. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future tutorials. And if you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll help you out as best as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.